What is up Saber fans, this is Gibson here from Saber Supply. Today I'm going to be doing a quick preview of 89 Saber's Graphlex. This is um, a replica of the Graphlex from A New Hope. You will see that um, there are a lot of details made to replicate the original fetch handle. As you can see right here, the Graphlex stamp on a clamp is very close to the real thing. As you may or may not know, the original prop used in the New Hope was made from a flash handle, a three cell Graphlex flash handle. So this one will be very close to the prop used in the movie. The logo will be uh, on the clamp and also um, on the pommel. And this over here is a bubble strip from a calculator. And the glass eye that um, has a shine through effect. Also you will also you will receive with the package um, the accurate blade plug. This part over here is made to replicate the inter the internal part of the original graphics. But uh but by the time I'm shooting this video I do not have um the gold graphlex pin um in stock but uh by the time you buy this lightsaber from my shop you will get uh, the accurate gold pin uh, blade plug. Okay. The activation switch is over here and the auxiliary switch is over here. Again, when you receive uh the saber you will have to turn off the kill switch. First undo the clamp by lifting this lever and then okay you'll see that the pommel will come off and then you will need to rotate the metal chassis to reveal 3D printed chassis inside. Okay. Just remember that um, the battery side is gonna align with the the glass eye. You want to remove the chassis like so. And then Key. I'll never join you. Okay. Again, align the battery to the to the glass eye. Okay. For movie accuracy, you will want to have uh, the bubble strip on the left side. But uh, if you like the bubble strip on the right side, that's fine as well. Um, there are some reference photos from the post-production um, Mark Hamill photo shoot um, showing Mark Hamill holding uh, the graphics with the bubble strip on the right side. But uh, in the movie, you will see that the uh, bubble strip is actually on the left side. Okay, now the kill switch is off. You can press the activation switch to turn on the saber.
shine through effect is really cool. I like it. The auxiliary switch is a sliding switch. You want to press to that side. That lightsaber was Luke's. There are more than 20 sound fonts. Like my father before me. Installed um, on this SD card. I'll never join you if you only knew the power of the dark side. <laughs> I'll never get bored of that glass I have shine through effect. Okay. So again when you're done and you wanna display the hilt on the stand you want to undo the clamp and access um, the chassis to turn off I mean to turn on the Q key. That way your electronics will be preserved. I don't have um, the exact like information on how many years turning off the Q key will preserve your uh, electronics, but uh, that's like um, the standard practice. If you can, you will, and it doesn't bother you too much. I recommend you turn off the saber when you put it on display. Okay, again, the battery aligned to the glass eye. You want to keep that in mind because um, the chassis only go in one way. That's about it guys, I'll see you in the next one, peace out.